Hom wanzala umurako na wewe sasa marehemu ni mchukuu wangu nakumbuka wakati huyu mtoto alikuwa amesaliwa ndugu yangu Christopher na Tembea ndiye alitangulia kumshika mkono kumtembeza kwa achili ya matanga hii ni matanga ile sija tuko tunasika sija na mimi nataka wala ko kwa sababu ya masaa mimi na kuisaokoka yes ni bwana wakati ile nilikuwa naitwa Tom lakini sasa naitwa Newton na mwenye atasoma vizuri anasema Newton Newton lakini mwenye amesoma kama mimi anasema kwa Newton sasa mimi chama ni atakuja lakini hapo kwa njia na bara kwa wengi bado wako kwa njia. Hata nimeona hapa ndugu yangu Francis Wanyama yakobo ajaingia. Lakini wale mko kujeni mjitambulise kwa mazao. Sababu mimi najua mazao ya Ya kiangu Catholic ina mashauri yao. Watafika hapa kitu inasubiri. Sasa kujeni bado wala ngoma ana inuka rumwa ana wabwe pamula ngaba rumwe chukuru wabwe mwicha anano mawa mwita ambu nisiye msa tu kumwe na kamasa yicha kumwene mbaru onano wana wa hee na wana nitu wakena nisubua wana wana niba maku baba wa sto wa kristofa basi mungefanya alaka sababu ya masa mwje tu tafadhali mwje tukiongoja wale wengine watakuja kadai ebu mkuje kwa alaka sababu hii nafasi nikipita nikiwapita sita wapea tena sawa sawa tafadhali sawa sawa ya mwje mwje mwangalia huku sababu ya kama hapo tenisida hama rekode na matanga wote leni kwa hiyo msiba tunawashukuru kila mmoja kwa kuchukua nafasi yake akuje kulia pamoja na sisi mimi sina mambo ya kuongea sipokuwa tutasema tu jina e, i am the ango to the let na msichana alikuwa e, msichana alikuwa ana associate na watu wote na ukimuongelesha akujibu. Kwa hivyo tumepoteza msichana, tumepoteza tumepoteza mtu ambaye amefika umri ya kutusaidia sisi kwa mawazo na kwa ujuzi mbalimbali ili tukaweze kuishi maisha yetu vizuri. Mimi naitwa Daniel, Mungu awabariki. Don is my niece. Alimehusunika sana kumpoteza mtu wa maana katika maisha yake. Naomba tu Mungu ailaze ndoa yake na alipeka peponi. Asante. Bwana Yesu atufiwe. Mimi kwa majina na nini Doris Maunda. Ama natembea. Huyu Don mimi nilikuwa nimemjua sana tangu utotoni. Hata mtu wa kwanza tu kuangalia huyo Toto alikuwa mimi kama walikuwa wamezoka Mombasa baba. Waliingia kwa nyumba yangu. Mimi nikatangulia kumuona kama mtoto wa mtoto wetu first born wake. Na nilikuwa nimependeza sana na yeye. Lakini msasa Mungu amempenda tufanyeje? Tunamuombea tu aende apumzike vizuri. Sisi pia tukifanya mazuri katika hii dunia tutampata. Asante Mungu. Bara sifiwe. Bara sifiwe. Na wasalimu nyote kwa matanga ya kutoka kwa ndugu yangu. Mtoto ambaye tunampenda sana lakini Mungu ameona amchukue mapema kuliko kwenye sikutana tarajia. Kwa majina naipa 
bara kuyombo na imeo kusuli bwana Namaskar Wazina Mo Kesisiye. Good morning, everyone. I'm very sorry that we have lost Donna at that time when we were here. But we require a lot. That's why I'm here in Pango Mungu. I'm in Akubali. My brother Agri and the Blamwa. Let's have Akubali. This month, Dayland and the Vicks, wherever you are, it is a moment. This month, you are now the eldermost, and you must have respond to us. Uh, take responsibility. I want to thank him because straight away you are, you, you are already taking the responsibility. You must now take care of your both your parents. Atakama Bokazi Kumbali, that's more complicated. Kumbiki ya mama na baba simu, kwa julia hali kumana asawe ju mtupo mkubo na angalia. Asante kwa hiyo. Hallelujah. Mwaneta, siwe. Yule mpenda lakini yeso ni mpenda zaiti. Rest in peace. Hao, na wasalimu wote katika jina la Yesu wa mjangu. Mi na hitwa Ruth Sangula, na Ruth na Tembea Sangula. Mi njiwa mtoto wa kwanza wa Kristofa na Tembea. Nimepoteza mtoto mzuri sana mbae Senge, mbae tulikuwa tunampenda. Sisi, hiyo ndi alikuwa Senge wa kwanza katika pomaletu na tumepoteza. Tunaomba tu mungu wa muike mahali pema. Na mlamua Lucy, na nandugu yangu, Agri, wacha tu kubali, lakini mkiweke kwa mungu. Asanteni. Thank you very much. Abari zenu? Hey! Mwako la mudhiena. Bato. Asanteni kufika leo. Wenzangu basi enge wa mezungumza na mimi pia nisenge wa Adon. Na itua Elizabeth na andako. Tunakaa na ee Mombasa. Ningependa tu kusema shukurani zangu kwa wale wageni mnetufikia. Kukaa na sisi na kulia na sisi. Tena na ningependa kushukuru mwenyezi mungu. Kwa ule wakati ya litupatia, tukakaa na msijana wetu. Sisi pia tukajivunia mtoto wetu. Megi ya mesemwa, alikuwa pole, alikuwa na maneno. Kwa hivyo, tunashukuru mungu pia kwa wazazi kutupatia msijana na kulea msijana. Nasema tu... Brada yangu na sister in law Mwenyezi Mungu awashikilie. Je, peke yake ndiye anaweza? Na jamii muendelee kutuweka kwenye maombi kwa sababu si rais. Asante. Asante. Mama ni yesa afuma. Ndalo mama ana wase chako pole pole. Naambia msitana wangu pole. Kupari, kama ya kikuja, ukupari. Sisi hapa ni wakeni, tunapita. Ukija ukeni, kama wamemaliza kuku kwa sahani, sunaenda. Sasa kupari, tunamunai. Kwa majina, mimi na Rosemary, nasi miyu wali yaula. Hata sisi, njimu barako. Rono, barako, ndalo mandi. Barako, pole wamu yoga. Kwa hivyo, mkana, wase, njimu njimu. Ono pala kukara, mwati vizesi kisema ana. Sayo munu nono wanafara likoti mwono, mwana we umukhana. Mwana umukhana kufara watu mwana umusore. Ono wana wumana. Ono wana wasitia kopo. Olire no manyo, kariyo. Kapuwa nanga, ata kuli mtu, kariyo. Karuna kariyo, mchuli kakabe huku. Ono wana wana wana. Eze masuma rosu mebuna sime yumu kana mu yonga. Eze ni yoronda. Uhuwa yomu ano. Eze ni yomu ronda. Asante. Ono vara kopole. Emu yekali yiri. Asante. Kali ya mwatuma. Uhu. Asa. Wasewali. Pole. Uhu. Wasewali. 
Pole, ty nie kopłe. Kila mtu 
hapo njiani hata ukisoma kitabu cha ayub 14 kuanzia hapo hapo inasema mwanadamu aliyesaliwa na mwanamke siku sake za kuishi ni chache hata sangine ziko tatabu na vile walisema mama ya nate ya, ya, ya yakobo ndiye ananifuata mimi sisi ni bamuonga jacob siku moja jaribu uje kutembelee watu ambao wanafuatana na mama yako Eona ya kwamba tulikuwa hatujui familia yako tukua mali yako bi yako uje naye kwetu tumwone uone bali mama yako alisaliwa ujue mama yako ana watu ado sangine shida ikitokea kama hii huko kwetu tushikiria eh, tuonane na wewe mimi kwa majina ni Mando Ronald na tumeshukuru kwa wale ambao wamekuja wanasema ni ya kawaida lakini kukuja sio ya kawaida ni mapya sana na hiyo Jacob ana ndugu zake watu kumi na moja dada zake wako kumi na moja kwa watu katika familia ya Mandu watu ishirini na mbili lakini watatu wametoka kwa hivyo tutamalizia hapo kuna hapa wajumba watoto wa, wa mbao ya kwetu anaitwa watu wa Hoja na Sengi na Mai wacha pia wasalamu Siku Yesu Kristo. Uh, Asante. Mimi ninaposimama hapa nasimama kwanza kabisa nashukuru familia ya andi wangu. E, ambao Jack 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 akiwa kijana mkubwa wa andi tafadhali na familia yenu sisi kama wajomba ama watoto wa wajomba wenu tunawashukuru kwa sababu kila mahali tukukiwa na changa lolote huwa tunashirikiana na hapa mimi ninasimama kwa kiasi kingine kama mjomba babangu ndiye the first born wa kina familia ya kina mama wa Jacob sasa kitu chenye naweza sema Mlamwa ambaye ni wiku yangu na Jack na familia yote kwa jumla nasema Mungu awarehemu na wapenzi nguvu hata tunapolia kibidie kwa ama, imani ya Yesu Kristo asante sana mimi naitwa Ben Wanjala natoka Malik asante Bana masika namu kesishe namu kesishe ndende kanisa kila mwali ni mwali nyota ndisa kulinga kunyara ta mas nendang ba chakra ko yaula umura ko mukhandia kwa ma edzu anda so yo kanisa amanya ta ki bandi wono ba ndambua uno mas na dijaku ko yaula na ti de mobi asante sana asante sasa ndaruka kabisa nitaenda kule morana kwa watu wetu kule praise the lord amen Praise the Lord. Amen. Ya muongea na nguvu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Habari zenu. Mimi naitwa Mr. Ken Mongai Dongo. This is my sister in law and the Rose Kitao. Ni bibi ya brother yangu. Auntie ya Don. 
na mimi yango ya don na rusi bibi ya agri ni dada yetu rusi ni mwisho kwetu kwa nyumbani tunampenda sana na family yake pole kwa kwanza tunasema pole kwa hii death ya msana wetu don tunampenda sana mrembo wacha ni mwaleta 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 mpenda sana ni mpole alikuwa na piti ya kazi yake kamisa kila kitu in fact then to seven na katizungu was a great woman alikuwa na dreams which I know very well ita succeed wale wako mwaleta mwaleta wapa leo na hiyo kazi alikuwa anataka anafanya na mchoa saa hii ana fry kwa sababu wanawake watu wanampenda kutoka nyumbani kwetu kuna wengine walifika hapa usiku baada ya wengine wako kwa njia watafika tu baadaye before the funeral yeshe so tunasema pole na kutoka kwa watu wetu kutoka nyumbani mrema vile mzee amesema amesema pole ama tumesupport bila tumesupport amesema pole wacha niongee na Rose amongelesha kidogo mjaponi kwa majina naitwa Rose ama Mrs. Getao mimi ni sister in law ya hii familia kutoka huko baada ya Moranga na ya sisi tumehuzunika sana kumpoteza huyo msichana mwenye alikuwa msichana mpole sana na msichana very good sisi ni kuja tu kushikiliana hii last jani tukiwa pamoja na familia asante asante sana and wish uh, don uh, arrest in peace Uh, familia ambayo imefiwa na waombolezaji wenzangu amjambo amjambo tena uh, mimi jinsi mmesikia kwa majina naitwa Isabela Munyasa Ananda uh, najua wengi hamnijui mtu mwenye ananijua hapa ni mama ya marehemu Lucy tulisoma kule India na Lucy Lucy was my college mate and uh, I've come to represent her colleagues whom we were together with in India and uh, I brought my condolences from them. I'm just encouraging my sister Lucy that uh, death is inevitable. It is with us. Though when it comes It is very painful. I just encourage you to keep praying so that uh, uh, the soul of our little girl may rest in eternal peace. Receive greetings from your ex-colleague mates. Thank you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa machina naitwa Gabriel. Mimi mmoja wapo wa machirani wa familia hii. Wako na machirani wengi around lakini mimi ni chirani ambaye niko karibu sana na familia hii kwa sababu tunashare ukuta moja kama mpaka nyumba yao ni hii na yangu ni ile nyingine so na waelewa sana nao pia wananielewa zaidi ni familia ambayo ni nzuri hawana maneno na nimekucha kukundua kwamba hata huyu mtoto hako na hako na tabia kama ya wasasi kwa sababu nimekaa naye hapa kwa mta mrefu lakini ukiona anaongea utakuwa umemwongelesha ni mtu ambaye anasikia anatumia kusikia kwa wingi 
lakini kwa kuongea ni kidogo sana so tumepotesa mtoto ambaye ni mzuri sana jamii hii ya kichichi hiki pia imepata kupotesa mtoto ambaye alikuwa mtoto ambaye anaonyesha mfano mzuri sana kwa wengine so ningependa tu kuchukua nafasi hii kusema pole sana kwa familia ndugu Akre na mama Lucy na jamii yote kwa uchumla kwa kupoteza huyu mtoto mpendwa Mungu wa rehema apate kuiweka roho ro yake mali peponi asandeni sana asante sana jirani huyu jirani anaongea kama pasta <laughs> pasta akiingia hapa hata anakuwa na wasiwasi e, anachukua time an, anaanza kuhubiri lakini amesema mzuri yani jirani na ukuta ndiye me gawanisha hawa sasa hapa tuko na mgeni ye nimepewa jina anaitwa Godfather unajua unajijua tu Godfather wewe Godfather Godfather kwanza ndio mnione sura yeah ah uh, uh, kanisa andalizi la SPA ah uh, ndugu yangu sikuwa mwita mkwasi eh agree walikano natembea eh mama lucy jamii ya uh, walukano yote uh, vijana naona Taylor uh, DJ yuko hapa Desmond uh, jamii yote na waombolezaji wape wangu balako wako hapa hamtamboni ya yeah, hamtambo tena uh, mimi naitwa nimeitwa Godfather ndio lakini jina langu ni Samuel Ambani wa mwai. Uh, nikifanya kazi kwa naitwa Brigadier kwa sasa niko ni staff Brigadier Retire Samuel Mwai. Na kwanza ni kusema poleni sana kwa kumpoteza msichana wetu eh, Don. Sana wetu Don eh, tulimlea Mombasa eh, tangu azaliwe tukiwa pamoja na eh, jamii yetu hawa ndugu my brother in law na mke na kumkuza Mombasa kwa upendo sana. Mimi naitwa Godfather leo kwa sababu katika kanisa letu la SK ya uh, St Peter's Mombasa nilimsimamia pamoja na wengine hawajui hawa ni wadogo katika ubatizo. Na hapo toka hapo tumewakuza pamoja kwa upendo. Sasa nasikitika sana kwa kumpoteza yeye msichana mdogo. Uh, sisi bado tuko hapa eh, na uzuni sana na jamii na naambia poleni na zaidi kwa shukuru kwamba mmekuja kumsindikiza pamoja nasi. Uh, sina mengi uh, kwamba sijakuwa naye pamoja lakini natoka sio mbali sana hapa Lugare eh, Mautuma. Eh, mke wangu si kama amezungumza ye ndio mlako ule katika atoa katika hii jamii. Ye yeah, anaitwa Elizabeth na mshua amekuwa na nyinyi kwa muda mrefu. Na shukrani sana. Otherwise uh, na muombea uh, roho ya sana wetu Don uh, rest in peace na ndugu yangu tuzidi kuwasiliana kujipa moyo katika maemba ya maisha. Asante. 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 Bwana una mashemeji wewe ni mmoja tu ama au wengine na wako toa mahali. <laughs> oh ndio <dio> huyo. <laughs> Kuja tumalizane na wewe tu kabisa kabisa hapa nasema pole pole ni sana kwa kumpoteza mchana yetu majina naitwa Kiofas wa nyama mke wetu ni Sara Mandako Santeni huyu ni mzuri kabisa huyu ndio mke wako huja hapa wakuone mzuri hapa kwa huyu dada yako na mke wako hapo wapi eh tumtaka kuja hapa kuja eh tumtaka kuona vile kuja 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 Eh. Kuja kuja. Unajua umeona wewe uko na kiboko ama wewe ni mkali anapiga tena. Hataki kuja tarata wewe. Sawa. Wakati ulio mgumu. Lakini tunasema tu poleni kwa shemeti wetu Jacobo. Sisi tulikuwa wadogo lakini nadhani ananijua. Huyu shemeti yangu amepoteza mumewe juzi 2 weeks ago. 
Mbona sasa hizi anapoteza mtoto anaye mita shangazi. Kenye tunaomba tu kanisa mtuendelee kutuombea kwa sababu hii ndio imekuwa ugeni ya kuonana. Lakini yote ni ya Mungu na kasi ya Mungu haikosolewi. Na mfarikiwe na hayo. Kwa majina anaitwa Jane kwa wanyama. Asante. Yana huyu atumjue jina. Huyu sasa yeye sema jina. Jina ni Sara na atakona atembea. Asante sana. Asante, asante, asante. Ese kaba jiweta. Ese sene mira nano. Barbe badiwa shakwa. Ave se ndi. Ne mira nano hu. Kupu soli wa sivari. Ale kisi. Wekesa. Adine nje. Maiba ni hele ni. Na mukohi. Na mwena ataku. Ave se ndi. Ese ma shakwa we. Na mpule. Pule papa. Batiri anga. Toko suku lekaro mwani. Na mwe ya mwana mfukira, ila wabibi ya gumyo yokienye. Mwana mwende, nilime ya mwende, mwana mwende nyanda kienye. Ya ya wande, basakwa. Ya ya, awele nwe ikina, uli aha, aha mjimele mwana kambi. Na wabasa kafu hikileka, ewe kinyanda kioki hii. Ba ya ya, osekonda chomu hundu chawe. Linda, ega nda yo, ekole. Namu kese ni kuchomwani. Kese si mna wa eki maeti. Diki na wana anda walikuteo na shimi yuwe kesa. Umulo suwa kere senduwe kesa na uliha uki maeti. Kese ne kala miste miti yewe. Se mucho nene nao, wala mumpari kiwe. Asanti, 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 asanti basako wa. Basako wa uyo ni mzuri ya mtu. Mabangu ni Lucas, nyumbani ni Kisei County, Nashua Mijo wa Nairobi. Tukuja hapa kwa ajiri ya dada hitu. Angalia uku. Na Newton, atuna mengi, pole. Mungu wa zede kwa hapa mungu. Sani. Pole sana. Pole kwa huu musika. Pole kwa huu musika. Mtoto wangu pole kwa kupoteza mchukuu Mimi sitawai kufika kwa hii poma Leo ndiwa siku yangu ya kwanza Hata nilikuwa nataka kutembea siku moja hapa Lakini kwa kimbaya mchukuu aminileta Naomba mtoto wangu wako hapa Elizabeth Asimame na Newton wako wapi naomba mwuja hapa tuatambwe ee kutuwe ni hapa naomba mkuche ee mwuja kwa raka tu mami hao ndio wamefanya kakucha huku ee uyu ndio mtoto haku mkupo na tangu wa ingie hapa kwa koma, sicha wai kufika hapa, nini naka na irobi. Kwa hivyo ni onerea wacha tu, nikuche ni wapalichi kwa siku ya leo. Sina mingi ya kuonge, kwa sababu kwa wakati, uyu mchuku wacha mungu wa mweke maripema. Sisi atuchui matendo yake, lakini mungu anachua yale alikuwa ametenda sina mingi ya kuongea wacha huyu mtoto awasalimie wanaeswa sifiwe kwa machina naitua charet omoni omwega utoka kisi ungekucha na wengi kama niketokea kisi lakini kwa sawabu nakaa nairobi tulikucha wawedi tu thank you Mimi naita Newton Tembe, nidugu ya Agri, Don is my name. He has all praise in the town on this. Bwana Yesu asifiwe, asifiwe tena. Mi naomba kumishukuru mungu kwa kila kijambo, kwa kuwa mipango yake hatuwezi yelewa, lakini ya najua sababu. Mwanaomba kumpa shemeji yangu pole 
Mungu azidi ili kuwapa. Naweza kushuti watu. Kuazidishia. Na atawabariki. Na yote tumwaminie Mungu. Asante. Sante sana. Wewe ulipata baba mkwe mzuri bwana naye. Eh, Yeye anakupenda sana we. Na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu hamjambo. Kwa majina ni Monica Kadini. Don Nazari ni good friend of mine. Tumesoma na yeye campus. And she was a really good friend, if I can say that. I can only say that she may rest in peace. And the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding if we care for me, Leayote. Asante. Bona Aspiwe. Aspiwe Tena. Don't to be so many in Shule. And I was a summer bed in Mesquia. Kila mtu wakisema don alikuwa mpole. Kwa situ kiwa na shule, shule don, alikuwa hapisi mtu wa mambo mingi. And she loved fashion. Kuchora don was the best. Na she was our photographer in class. May her soul rest in peace. Kwa majina na hituwa Diana, tumisoma na ye college. Sante sana Diana, sante ni sana. Tumashukuru. Basi tuko na wale tuko na wale colleagues ya mama nimeambiwa wamefika tafadhali kama muko muje family madam lucy alikana uh, immediate director rc host and the family hapa uh, mbele yenu ni colleagues wa probation and after care the savi ndona wa senior retired the abu ndio hizi nikumbuka but i know him because i was here to fund kazi so my names are john washira makao kama video mc amesema nitoka mlima ni tunaambia mlima ni mungu wote so natoka pande ya central nimekuja hapa juzi bungoma kwa kazi yetu ya kawaida transfer i'm one month old here so I have the graces of my county director, Madam Lucy Walkana, and it was John Riongo. He used to be your staff at uh, Itakaveta County. I may travel uh, overnight and go to Nyumbani, Kidogo, for Shukuli and Nyumbani, so I'm going to be able to get the letter. So with me, I have colleagues from Pungoma Station, I have my colleagues from other stations, on nitakaribisha uh, those from other stations my senior uh, Grace and Jerobi uh, and Sikwe uh, mwenye ameenda pande yetu ya mlima kwa ji introduce na waseme one of two things thank you so much bali enyo kwa jina mina yetu wa Grace Apukusi coincidentally Lucy we share name joki akasi tumetoka mlima lakini tumesetu luko, my home is in Mumias. Kama officer house wa probation mini kwa pa webuye, na nakupea pole sana. It is very hard to lose a child, but I will be well. Thank you. Buena sifiri, kwa majina na ito adoro kwa rinde. Si, senior, a very very senior to me. In this time of so, madam, we pray. God will give you the strength. It is not easy. Tunaambiwa mtoto akifa anaitwa yatima na mzazi akifa akifiwa anajina. So it is painful. Only God understands what you are going through. He will strengthen you. I work in Mumias lakini huko ni nyumbani asante. Potezo mpendwa wao na kanisa na waombolezaji wote na wasalimia katika jina la Yesu habari za mchana kwa majina mimi naitwa Elizabeth Sik mimi ni mkazi wa Webuye hapo mbele nimefanya kazi Bungoma but saa hii niko Gatundu Mema, Madam Lucy ni mwenzetu amekuwa senior kwetu hapa kwa probation amekuwa asinia wetu kwa probation mpaka juzi tu alipo staffu madam tunajua ni utungu sana kumpoteza mtoto na hatuwezi sema kwamba tunajua kile unajisikia sahihi
tunaomba tu Mwenyezi Mungu akupatie neema ya kutustahimili uchungu ambao unapitia pamoja na familia yako akupe nguvu na yeye mwenyewe anajua kwa nini yametendeka jinsi alivyotendeka Mungu awafariji hiyo mpoteza mpendwa kanisa na wote ambao wako hapa hivi kwa ajili ya kufariji familia Uh, majina yangu ni Jason Abukuse. Uh, mimi sasa ni mmoja wa wale ambao ni staff katika profession. Uh, ni staff nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya Darua na kwangu ni hapa Mias. Uh, mama Busia ni traffic yangu sana. Ni kazi nimefanya naye kazi sana. Uh, atakuja kutujoin pia katika ile kona ya seniors but um, chenye ningependa kusema ni kwamba ni ni vigumu ni vigumu kuanza safari namna hii na uh, unahitaji maombi 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 kwa yule alienda unajua hana uwezo wa kuweza kuongea na Mwenyezi Mungu nafasi yenye huwa tunapewa kuongea na Mwenyezi Mungu ni kama tukali tunapumua na alipo yeye sasa anahitaji maombi yetu yangu ni kusema kwamba maombo Mwenyezi Mungu amsamehe dhambi zake na ampe aweze kumweka mahali pema kati ya wapendwa wake huko eh mikuni. na wote ambao walikuja kumsaidia pia nipenda kuwapigia asante na Mungu awabariki Nairobi welfare of which I'm part of it Madam Lucy is also an active member ungependa na wawakilisha na kupeana rambi rambi zao and the parks parks probation and after care service in general tumeleta rambi rambi zetu and the family feel comforted we are together in this journey thank you very much are you with us amen asante uh, kwa majina naitwa Edwin Kisaka na mimi pamoja na familia a uh, tumeshirikiana ku kupanga ya mazishi. Yeye alikuwa ni haraka sasa atakukua na komiti. Sasa komiti ilikuwa ni ya mtu mmoja na familia. Na tunashukuru Mungu mahali anatufikishi. Uh, asante ni kwa mchango wenu wa both spiritually and financially. We really thank you. This was shocking but Uh, we thank God for everything. So, ni kwa vile nilimatanga mipango haraka kama kuna jambo unaona halijakupendeza naomba utusahamne kwa vile tungekuwa na muda sasa zingine tungejaribu kidogo. Asante kwa kusafiri kutoka mbali. Asante kwa kujitolea. Aha, ukiona kizuri, ah beba kama kuna kibaya tafadhali tueleze. Asante Mr. Agri na Jenny na Madam Lucy yetu ni kuachia Mungu na kuendelea kuwaombea kanisa asante ni kwa kufika kusimama na sisi asante je asante sana haya mtasa kuja habari yako eh karibu kanisa andalisi eh jamii familia pamoja na wanakijiji na wageni wetu hamjambo tumsifu Yesu Kristu daima na milele eh ningejibua fursa hii kusema ya kwamba mama na baba pamoja na familia poleni sana huyu mtoto msichana ninamjua sana kama mimi mkasawa hii kijiji eh sana sana kwa majina nilikuwa nimesahau naitwa Florence Wekesa Florence Wekesa ni mkasawa hii kijiji mama anasema pole sana pole kwa vile najua yeye msichana nilikuwa na biashara yangu hapo juu alikuwa ananoa mboga yangu na tena alikuwa mtangamofu sana alikuwa mtoto wa mcha Mungu na yangu nasema pole kwa kijiji sasa kama tunaenda kwa yombo asike akwasa na pole kwa kuchelewa eh nini kibaki kwa yake baba ya marehemu kutoka kutonge eh kitu tutasema kwa ndugu yangu pole kwa shirikisho yangu 
pole ndio kwa muda lakini na sema kwa ufupi tukubali imetendeka na ili healing process ifanyike acha tukubali sema maneno mengi na tuwe sawa labda umeshanena nasema pole sana asante kwa kupatia nafasi asante kwa makina ninaitwa Emmanuel Wafula wanyama mimi ndiyo kijana mkubwa wa marehemu James Wanyama wa Lukaya. Boma ni ndoaji sisi ni nitukinunua hapa lakini pia mnaona tumekaribisha hata mama. Babu zetu ndio alimuuzia shamba. Kwa familia yangu tumeenda kwa kanisa at least wana kanisa na wajua. Walikuwa na shariki na mama. Tunasema ni pole. Tuko pamoja. Na Mungu awabariki. Asante sana. Sabu sana Emmanuel Emmanuel Anisa uh, Madam Wanana uh, Poleni sana na familia kwa majina naitwa Benjamin Simiu tunafanya na wewe lakini mimi niko upande ya Wester my name is uh, Benjamin Simiu Poleni sana Sema naona Kanisa andalizi Kanisa yangu yaandike na waombalekaji na kuanza mpango wa Mungu yeye anapeana na anachukua yeye anataka Mimi nawashukuru wa kaaji wa hapa amjawacha mtoto wetu Agri ni mtoto wa mlamwa Baba yake ndio mkubwa mtoto na atembea marehemu alafu mzee wangu Francis wa nyama mi natoka tu hapa. Nilikuwa nafunza makutano. Kwa hivyo bame nyoba ano. Oyo mwana wa Simu Halma muli. Simu manyeta. Simu manyeta aba mmanyi. Mwana wa mulamwa. Sawe changa ota kusikira ari kukasi. Mwabone Mombasa. Umlozi yesi Mombasa. Mhm. Mwakari bishabusa. Nawa kya kolebe ne baulire kane mube pamoje basi rikibe kanisa ese naba mwalimu wa primary lakini unawa mwalimu e kanisa mwangi kan church evangelist saiku ya kiachire no kwa chaidi asante sana bandi wetu tonge ko angoya de mama ibase eh mana base ne ba papa pole muti yo mwana wenyu Asante sana. Aitwa Peter Muchini. Eh, ni na fanya kazi na idara ya provision. Eh, exam. Mama yake marehemu, nimefanya kazi na yeye wakati nikiwa Sasa utarudi baada. Kilifi. Kwa wangu wangu kazi yenye muri tena ni mtu tulikuwa tukifanya naye kazi nzuri kwa hivyo lango ni kuleta tu pole kwa mama Lucy kwa dukala kwa kumpoteza mtoto wake ambaye kwa sasa safari yake hapa duniani ile kamilika na vile vile kwa programu zetu kwa jamii na rafiki ambao walikuwa wengi sana na marehemu na familia yake kwa sasa ili Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kuwapatia nguvu za kustahamili the, the loss of their daughter so i was a bit ambushed but uh, i just want to convey the condolences 
on behalf of the patient's attorney. I don't know whether anybody has uh, spoken, but I want to believe so. So ours is just to stand with Madam Lucy so that she can have the strength uh, and be able to uh, get through this because I know it's very tough for her. Uh, now that uh, anybody has uh, one daughter spoken, by, but I want to be uh, on this daughter, I'm told. Uh, so to Nasema Poleni Sana Jami and Madame Lucy na what what Ambao familia kwa ujumla na marafiki na wote ambao wamekuja kwa ajili ya kuja pamoja nasi hamjambo ninaitwa Joan Wambaya mtoto wa eh, Ronald Wambaya ambaye anajulikana kama maskini kwa jina lingine najua tuko hapa wengi lakini baba hangeweza kufika kwa ajili ya hali ya kiafya kwa hivyo walukan e, rambi rambi za baba na tumai zimefika nyumbani na kama jamii najua tuko hapa tu wengi maybe wacha tuwe familia ya Ronald wako kama wote kwa hivyo nataka kusema poleni sana najua ya kwamba Mungu ambaye amemchukua mtoto wetu ana sababu na kwa yote wacha tumtumainie na ataweza kutufariji na kutupa kile ambacho mwenyewe anatamani tuwe nacho kwa wakati huu. Si Mungu awabariki sana. Sema tu majina yenu na pia mnaongea. Unajua mzungu alisema ladies stand. Kwa hivyo naona tuwaze tu na wa, warembo hao. Karibu. Jina naitwa Lucy Senyago. Ah, uh, mimi ni Tanzania lakini naishi Mombasa. Nimekuja kufariki dada yangu Lucy pamoja na familia yake. Nilikuwa na Muhammad Don. Don alikuwa rafiki yangu. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa yote. Yote ni mapenzi ya Mungu kila mtu ana siku yake. Na tunaomba Mungu aendelee kufariki familia ya Lucy ndio kwambia kupenda kanisa kwa majina naitwa Maureen Akinyi mimi ni mzaliwa wa Busia Samia na shiriki na Mama Lucy Mombasa St Peter's Nyali ni mwanakwaya tunaimba naye najua familia yake pole sana mama na family Mungu awapatie nguvu wakati huu mgumu ni mzaliwa wa Murima Mrima imekuwa kwa news very recently Huko ni kwetu Na tumetoka Mombasa Wachenda kutinaike Asante Asante ni sana Semunaona hii watu ya Mombasa wa Nangara eh, Hui mutazania nae ya unajua Hiyo <laughs> kukusu wa kiyo naona wa rio mutema njini wa nameza mate Sasi kiu kama hiko wa kino wa usapase <laughs> Eh so asante sana mnaweza mwelekezo wa maana kule then Oh. Uh -huh.
ya jinisa hapa duniani kama uko binguni tutupelewa riziki yetu sahabe makosa yetu kama nasi na sahabe walio tukosea sikie majaribuni lakini utokwe na ile muofu kwa falbe ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele amina hakika wewe ni mungu mwenye nguvu unajua kuja kwetu na tena kurudi kwetu ni wewe unatupa miaka ya kuishi katika ulimwengu huu tena kwa uwezo wako na mamlaka ulio nayo sema mwanadamu aruti mavumbini mungu wetu anasalimu amri na anafanya hivyo e baba yetu tumekuja kwa ajili ya hilo tendo la utiifu ulipo muumba dauni ulimhesabia siku zake za kuwa katika ulimwengu huu na baba yetu ukajua siku yake ya kurudi kwako sasa tumekuja kwa ajili ya kuitii hiyo sauti e baba yetu na hiyo amri yako nasi baba yetu tukubali ya kwamba kazi yako haina lawama lolote ambalo unafanya e baba yetu you do it in a very perfect way so we are here for that submission of your god we now ask for your guidance we now ask for your presence okay. we now ask for your leadership as we begin this service may you reign may you be uh, seen may you be glorified oh dear god haya ndio maombi yetu yafike kwako kwa jina la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mwokozi wetu amen tukiwa tumesimama hivyo wapendwa wa Mungu tumekusanyika hapa kuleza mwili wa mpendwa wetu don na jefe na tendea ambaye bwana amemuita kwake ukiamini ya kwamba kwa kuwa Yesu alikufa na pia kamfuka tena ndivyo atakavyokuwa kwa wale wanaokufa katika Kristo kwani Mungu atawafufua pamoja na Yesu tushiriki sala pamoja walio na kitabu cha ibada baba wa mbinguni katika mwana wa Kristo Kristo umetupatia imani ya kweli na tumaini la hakika imarisha imani hii na tumaini lilo ndani yetu siku zetu zote ili tuweze kuishi kama wale wanaoamini kushikwa watakatifu msamaha wa dhambi na ufuo wa maisha milele jinsi tumesimama tuelekezwe katika litania litania kila kitu kina majira yake kila jambo duniani lina wakati wake wakati wa kuzaliwa wakati wa kupanda wakati wa kuua wakati wa kupomoa na wakati wa kujenga wakati wa kulia na wakati wa kucheka wakati wa kubomoleza wakati wa kutupa mawe na wakati wa kusanya mawe pamoja wakati wa kukumbatia na wakati wa kuacha kukumbatia wakati wa kutafuta na wakati wa kupoteza wakati wa kuhifadhi na wakati wa kutupa wakati wa kurarua wakati wa kukaa kimya asante jinsi tumesimama hivyo naomba msomaji wa zaburi zaburi 39 na nisema nitazitunza njia zangu nisije nikakosa kwa ulimi wangu nitajitia lijamu kinywani maada mtu mbaya yupo mbele yangu nalikuwa sisemi na linyamaa kimia sina faraja maumivu yangu yakazidi moyo wangu ukawa moto ndani yangu na katika kuwaza kwangu moto ukawaka nalisema kwa ulini wangu bwana unijulishe mwisho wangu na kiasi cha siku zangu ni kiasi gani nijue jinsi nilivyo dhaifu tazama umefanya siku zangu kuwa mashubiri maisha yangu ni kama si kitu mbele zako kila mwanadamu ingawa amestawi ni ubatili binadamu huenda tu huko na huko kama kivuli hufanya ghasia tu kwa ajili ya ubatili huweka akiba wala hajui ni nani atakaye chukua na sasa ninangoja nini e bwana 
matumaini yangu ni kwako uniokoe na maasi yangu yote usinifanye laumu la ya upumbavu nimenyamaza sitafumbua kinywa changu maana wewe ndiwe ulie yafanya uniondolee pigo lako kwa uadui wa mkono wako nimeangamia Ukimu, ukimurudi mtu kwa kumkemea kwa uovu wake watawesha watawesha uzuri wake kama nondo kila mwanadamu ni upatili e bwana usikae usikie maombi yangu utege sikio lako nilalapo usinyamalie machozi yangu kwa maana mimi ni mgeni wako msafiri kama baba zangu kama baba zangu wote uniachilie ni nikunjuke uso kabla sijaondoka nisiwepo tena utukufu una baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu ulivyokuwa mwanzo ulivyo sasa hata milele milele amen sasa ninaomba upaketi kama shida zifika po na nyumba zinaanguka na ishi kati ka Kristo na kaju ya mwamba kama shida Um, my name is Dylan Sino Natake and the third born to Mr. Agri Wankana and Lucy Jackie Wankana and um, I am Dylan's son, I school at Uzima University. I am here to um, read the eulogy of my dear sister. <coughs> Um, Don was born in Mombasa Hospital in Mombasa <coughs> County, Coast Region, in December 1994, on the 27th of December. She was the first born and the only daughter to Mr. Agri Walukana Natumbea and Mrs. Lucy Kuki Walukana. Don was baptized at the City St. Peter's Church in the year 2000 and confirmed as a communicant at ECP Kiamwazi Church in Kenyaza in 2006, where she was in boarding school in Costa She was a member of St. Peter's Church of infancy in youth up until the year 2019, and she relocated to live in Kandui, Bukoma. Don loved the Lord, and she was keen to read the Bible. Biblical journals and wrote in the New Story Project. As for academic life, Don shared with her husband and her husband. She then completed her nursery schooling in Germany and went on to Standard 8 in the same school. She then transferred to Barry Boarding Primary School in 2007. She joined from one in good school in Dorit, up until from two, and completed her PCSE at Avantgarde Secondary School in Nairobi. She joined Mombasa Polytechnic to do fashion and design diploma course, which she graduated from in 2019. In Don's professional life, Don loved designing clothes and fashion. She always amazed us with the way she could turn old clothes to fashionable bags and clothes. She was carrying out her work at home in Kandui, doing small businesses online. And as for her family life, Don had four sibling brothers. The late Felix Matembea was our stepbrother, Desmond, Dylan, myself, and Felix, who is currently in Obama High School and taking his exams. The siblings enjoyed a closeness with Don being the only girl. She loved cooking for her family, trying out her bakery skills on the family. Dawn also loved watching cartoons, spiritual programs, and reading books online. Dawn loved her dogs, which she kept a number of which 
some in Mombasa and others here in Kaduri. They were very cherished as her pets, and they guarded her in her home. The dog's demeanor also changed with her passing on. As for her health life, Dawn enjoyed very good health for benefits. We rarely took her to hospital for childhood illnesses, and even as she progressed to adulthood. However, in July 2024, she started getting swelling all over her body, which was water retention. We thought this was a result of some medication due to irregular menstrual periods. By September, she suffered dizziness and fell down. On consulting medical personnel, she was referred to a cardiologist who diagnosed her with blood flow to the heart. She was immediately put on medication for clot and other symptoms. She was responding well, though the healing was a slow process. On the Monday of 22nd October, she was not responding to mobile calls and neighbors had to break into the house. She had passed on the previous night in her sleep. We cannot know how long we have in this world, but our Lord knows what is best. Don't love the Lord. Her mother's last words to her at 10 p.m. on Sunday night were, Say your prayers. Mommy loves you very much. She responded by, I love you, Mommy. Fare thee well, Don. Fare thee well. Thank you. Hamjambo nyote Kanisa Marafiki zetu Kutoka kila mahali Jami zetu za huku western Walako Hamu yonga Hamjambo Mimi Ndiyo naitua Wandukana Agri Na tembea Zamani nikiwa kijijini kwa naitwa Yakobo and mimi ndiye baba ke don and uh, itasema mengi don nilimpatia jina ya nyanya yangu ambaye ni alikuwa bibi yake Yakobo so ni mtoto alikuwa mtoto mwaminifu very obedient na alikuwa anampenda sana Otherwise, nitachukua fursa hii kwa shukuru nyote kwa kuja na kusimama na sisi. Majirani sija wasahau. Najua mimi huwa sionekani, nionekani sana samahani. Kwa sababu mimi huwa safari kila siku hapa na pali. Lakini nitakua pamoja. Otherwise, nitapenda tuku sema vijana zangu hapa ni kuna vijana watatu. Desmond Wekesa na Dela na Siunwa na kuna mungina naipa Jigs wa Kome na yeye anapanya mkiani wa Fumpo atasi ijui nige mwambia nini lakini tugiongia na walimu wakane na kwamba wacha tuwache alafu tutaangalia Bibiangu Lucy yuko hapa Mpenda pia Mwalike Asene pia mchachi Asanjeni sana kwa kuja Shukran Mpenda 
habari zenu uh, the clergy utansamee nitawambia kwa kiingereza tafadhali the clergy led by the provost uh, i respect you and nawa salam napatia salam thank you for hosting us yesterday and today i don't take this for granted um please you forgive me you bear hello but i say people who are here it is not well for me i'm sorry it is not well it is so hard and i'm sorry please forgive me it is not easy losing a child it doesn't matter what age they are i was with dawn just a week and a half before she passed on she was sick from august and and i kept on praying lord just heal her that's all i wanted that's all i wanted in life i didn't care how long it took i just wanted dawn to be well she was such a humble girl she didn't ask for much and and that's all i wanted so please forgive me i want to thank everybody who has come i want to start off with my neighbors ideally i should start off to thank god for for putting all this together i also want to thank my neighbors there's a young man called dixon evans bonny mr wafula if it was not for these people i don't know where i would have been because i was in mombasa i want to thank all the groups the welfare groups that i can't believe the love people have shown me so much love and and i'm just so grateful i want to thank my in-laws for holding me and for being here in large numbers thank you my colleagues from probation i i'm, I'm just overwhelmed and I, i didn't know you would turn up st peter's all the way from mombasa i know it's not easy economics but they came and and that means so much to me so please provost bear with me it is hard i just want to say that life is is just so difficult you go through 9 months of labor you struggle to to educate these children and you achieve this and the other and then one day they just die don't my baby i've been told to release you i will i will i'll stay with you in the house and i will release you because there's no other way it's finished I know you love the Lord and I know things I know that you are in heaven No I saw you in the mortuary and I cried And though people were telling me there were no tears I did see a tear Because I know you could hear me My baby girl rest in peace I know you suffered for 3 months you tried you tried to get well you were in pain but thank you lord thank you for the 29 years and I hope to see you one day thank you
far as my sister is concerned, I don't have much to say. The much I said, I said yesterday to our church. I was just, um, as my mom said, Dawn was, of all the siblings, Dawn was the char most charismatic person. Thank you, she came your mind. Uh, in terms of personality wise, personality wise, I'd say it was passion for ETC, ETC. Uh, she needs to talk for how hour in the main industry. She needs to talk for one hour, half an hour, continuously. And you're floating for a full hour. Because you're willing, you, you've not done that course. You have no idea. Because you have to watch football when you come home. Watch cartoons because when I was that young, I was still a child when Don found her interest in fashion and her interest in general life. She was a teenager. I even remember the days when we used to fight over the TV. I didn't know if any TV. It was the days before Wi Fi and internet came in. So, uh, even it was the days before my younger brother was born when. Don and Jess used to fight over the TV like 24-7. We're going to TV. TV remote. I mean, if you're going to do with this, you're like five years away, six years away with this. So you just sit down and you watch them fight because you're inferior, by comparison. And then, oh, kidoki dogo, they break something, they get disabled, I guess what? That's funny. Then, uh, I don't know. Don was charismatic. You start a conversation with her about anything. And she'd be legitimately interested in the conversation. It's not like the rest of us would just say yes, no, ha, ha, good, nice, nice. Don would actually be interested. And she'd ask questions. Even though the, the topic has nothing near anything to do with her. But I'm going to Don was a nice person. I meant to say that. Even though it would quite be we channel left right center because we are siblings, siblings do that every day. Uh, the fact of the matter is, as I said yesterday in church, I said, uh, there's that saying that says, um, as a siblings, I will fight my brother and my sister. But if you come and start fighting my sister and my brother, then we will come up and fight you together. And that's how it was. Yeah. I remember she used to make clothes for me and my younger brother. She never used to test the mic on my elder brother that much because he wasn't really around. He was in campus at that time. But she used to make clothes for me and my younger brother. Um, he, she just <coughs> randomly go out and say, ah, this shirt looks nice on me. So you should go. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like I remember she used to like come home and then she ask you, she ask you guess price in Holy Never. And then in case, and then she'll say that well, well it's very cheap. Or she made it herself with the cheapest amount of money. So I don't know like that. Just like that. It's very quiet actually. And as I realized, then was quite obedient compared to the rest of us. Because like she was told to do something she could do it. You know, even cheap. The rest of us to not someone a mom or dad, oh, we don't feel like doing it. But don't just do it. Like, she has to do it. She's the secondary parent. She kind of raised uh, Des and me. And she kind of got hit for the mistakes Desmond did primarily. Because me, your age gap is equal. Like, so, like, I was not that cheeky when she was around. She was, like, in boarding school by the time I became a fully fledged child. Yeah. So, I have very few memories, treasure, but very few memories of my sister that I wish to have had one. And there are some I have forgotten, some, some I may remember later on, but my sister was, I think it matters as much that she was left at home. I was very close to my sister. And uh, the community as well shared a close relationship to my sister. I took some time when I came to walk around. And I 
hope some of uh, my sisters could be. They were heartbroken by her demise. I want to say thank you to my uncles and aunties and short for coming to the well. Yesterday, I spoke a bit much and I just want to say a few words that I had written down before the service. Don, thank you for being my sister, for your love and for the joy you brought into our lives. Though you are no longer with us physically, your spirit will live in the memories we hold and the love that continues to guide us. Thank you all for being here today to celebrate Dawn's beautiful life. Be blessed and have a good afternoon. Nasaidia Provost wa Cathedral na tutamkaribisha mnapo kuja nyumbani karibu ni kanisani. Waombolezaji wote na mshukuru tena. Asante ni sana. Thank you so much. God bless you. Allow me to welcome mchungaki toka St. Peter's Nyari who is within our midst. I hear kuna team from there at uh, point of use kama kuna kitu kusema watasema karibu na mchungaji Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati na hivyo ndivyo alivyo Bwana asifiwe basi kwa baba Provost kwa wachungaji wote uh, kwa ya zizo kulisha mali yake familia na waombolezaji wote kwanza majina yangu ni mchungaji Luciana wa kesho mwaro na kama vile mlivyosikia nimetoka kule Mombasa uh, diocese nikihudumu katika uaskofu huo katika uh, archdeaconry ya Kisauni na parish ni St Peter's Nyali majina yangu ni ningependa mtu ampokee rambi rambi nikiwa hapa nikiwakilisha katika uongozi wa kanisa ule kwanza pokeni salamu za Rika na Lajiti ambao wanajua niko mahali hapa siku ya leo pamoja na washirika wote wa St Peter's Lucy Agrian family and then kukarijika katika Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe kama vile nilivyoendelea kuelezewa tumeandamana na part of choir members ambao Lucy ni mmoja wao akiwa naimba pamoja katika choir ile ya St Peter's ah ningependa kuwaita waje watakuja pia lakini zaidi ya yote sisi tunashukuru kwa ajili ya mtoto huyu wetu Don kama vile nilivyoelezewa ni mtoto ambali kulia pale pale kansani na ile passion ya kumpenda Mungu kwa ndani yake. Kwa hivyo pili amelala maana tunaambiwa katika neno la Mungu hata tunapoondoka wale tumelala katika Bwana basi uzima wa milele pia uko pamoja na sisi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hiyo ni changamoto kwa sisi sote maana safari ya kuondoka duniani hakuna mtu yeyote anayejua wala mtu yeyote anafahamu ni wakati gani. Kwa hivyo ni sisi sote kuendelea kujitayarisha na kuendelea kutia nguvu katika maisha tunayoyaishi zaidi tukitazamia ule uzima wa milele na milele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo kwa familia ningependa tu kuachia neno moja la Psalms 121 nitainua macho yangu milimani nitazame nitainua macho yangu Nitaza, milimani nitazamu 
Je, msaada wangu watoka wapi? Msaada wangu watoka kwake Bwana aliyeziumba mbele na nchi. Haya mambo ya kupati ni ngumu sana. Kwa kweli kama vile Lucy umeelezea vizuri, mengi utapiwa. Ni mwana dia mwataongea. Mengi tutasema. Lakini at the end of it sote tutaondoka tutabaki na wewe na jamii yako. Lakini msaada mkuu ule tunataka kukuachia mshikilie Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu ndio uleta faraja kamilifu katika maisha yetu. Tunapoondokewa wapendwa ni ngumu wezi kuelezea. Eh tutaongea sisi wanadamu tutakwambia pole tuseme all sort of words of comfort. But the greatest comfort comes from the Lord himself. Kwa hivyo endelea kujitia kabisa ndani nyote na familia yenu kabisa kwa Kristo na mtaona faraja kuu na mradi Mungu amezidi kuwapatia maisha basi kuna mengi yale anataka mfazidi kumtendea kwa ajili yetu bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo tuko na kwaya hapa na najua wakosi wa namba ya kuweza kuimba pamoja na mwanzao asa kuendelea kumtia moyo na Mungu wa mbinguni akazidi kutubariki sote. Asante sana kwa ajili ya nafasi. wote karamu ya vinono na divai nzuri 
nyama tamu na mafuta pamoja na divai safi katika mlima huu huu Mwenyezi Mungu ataliondoa wingu la huzuni lililowafunika watu wote kifuniko cha uchungu juu ya mataifa yote Bwana Mungu atakiangamiza kifo milele atayafuta machozi katika nyuzo za watu wote na kuondolea watu wake aibu duniani kote Bwana Mwenyezi Mungu ametamka siku ile watu wote watasema huyu ndiye Mungu wetu tumemngojea atuokoe huyu ndiye Mwenyezi Mungu tulie mtazamia njooni tufurahi na kushangilia kwa kuwa ametuokoa na hili ndilo neno la Mungu Somo la pili Somo la pili linapatikana katika ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya 20 kuanzia mstari wa 11 Revelation chapter 20 from verse 11 kisha nikaona kiti cha enzi kikubwa cheupe na yule aliyeketi juu yake dunia na mbingu yatoweka mbele zake ya macho yake na hawikuonekana tena kisha nikaona watu wakubwa na wadogo wamesimama mbele ya kiti cha enzi na vitu na vitabu vikafunguliwa halafu kitabu kingine yaani kitabu cha usima kikafunguliwa pia wafu wakahukumiwa kadri ya matendo yao kama ilivyo andikwa ndani ya vitabu hivyo bahari ikawatoa nje wafu waliokuwa ndani yake kifo na uzima vikawatoa nje wafu waliokuwa ndani yake kila mmoja akahukumiwa kufuatana na matendo yake. Kisha kifo cha kuzimu kifo cha kuzimu kikatupwa kika ndani ya, ya siwa la moto. Siwa hili la moto ndicho kifo cha pili. Mtu yeyote ambaye jina lake halikupatikana nimeandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima alitupwa katika siwa la moto na hili ndilo neno la Mungu katika safari yangu twatembea na wewe hapa baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo na kushukuru sana la ile nyalapo kwa ajili ya nafasi umetupatia usije kutoka kwa juu ya neema yako mfalme 
kaita kusanyiko hili mwana hapa siku ya leo. Jambo muhimu ni kwamba tufikie sauti yako. Unao nena katika kile kitabu cha Mtumishi wa Kuba wa Proverbs Yesu. Kwa kwa mesho wakati huu. Yana nao nena mfalme. Usababishe kwa fariji mji huu. Kwa kuze kila kiumbe mahali hapa. Maana kuna mwingine isipokuwa ni wewe. Nguvu zake mwa shetani ambao ni za kuja kuinterrupt neno lako siku ya leo. Tusimama kinyume tulikataa katika jina Kristo. Muombe kwa mwelekeze kwa ile kila hatua. Maana wewe ndio Mungu ndio kimbilio. Kwa Kristo tunapo tunaviamini. Uh, tunapoketi hivyo nafikiria wala ambao mmesimama kuna viti vya kutosha huenda muwe mmechakua tu kusimama lakini nataka kufikiria kuna viti vya kutosha uh, nichukue hii nafasi uh, kwa niaba yangu mimi mwenyewe kwa niaba ya katito yetu ya St. Crispin nasimama hapa kuleta rambi rambi zetu kwa baba Agri na baba Lucy watoto wao hawa vijana kwa kufiwa na mtoto wao mpendwa Doni nataka kuchukua hii nafasi kwa shukuru nyinyi wote mliopata nafasi ya kufika swa kanisa letu katipro yetu naona uongozi wote upo hapa secretary wetu naona eh, leadership ya kama leadership ya mothers union uh, wa Kristo wote nichukue nafasi hii kuwashukuru wote mlioguzwa na kusikia mwito huu ukaona ya kwamba mufike hapa kuombolesa pamoja na familia hii ni peane shukurani zangu kwa wenzetu kutoka kulekekuwa na upendo na kama munge kwa na uh, a concern about your sister and your brother amunge fika munge hesabu karama ya fedha hela ambazo mumeweka njiani niposa mufike huko nasema sadeni sana nataka niseme ya kwamba nimeokoka mchana huu nimesimama hapa mniruhusu pamoja nanyi tukaweze kuhifariji familia hii na sisi wote tuliofika kupitia kwa hili neno ambalo linatoka katika Timotheo wa pili Timotheo wa pili mlango wa nne mstari wa sita hadi ule wa nane itasoma kwa maana mimi sasa na miminwa na wakati wa kufariki kwangu umefika nimevipika vita vilivyo vizuri mwendo nimeumaliza imani nimeilinda baada ya hayo nimewekewa taji ya haki ambayo Bwana muhukumu wa e, mwenye haki atanipa siku ile wala si mimi tu bali na watu wote pia walio pe, walio, walio penda kufunuliwa kwake. Ah uh, wenzangu ambao mmetunukiwa nafasi hii ya kufika katika ibada hii. Ninajua ndio ni sherehe, ni harusi. Lakini hii ni harusi ya kudondokwa na majozi. Na harusi hii ukifika hapa kama rafiki wa hii familia utamuuliza huyu mzee Agri na mama Lucy utawauliza hamjambo ama kwa Kiingereza utawauliza how are you doing this is not an easy uh, question and this is not an easy answer utawauliza mnaendeleaje watajikasa waseme tupo but not that is not the reality 
na tukiuliza hivyo tutakuwa tunamaanisha vizuri we mean well for them but it has no easy answer how are you doing the answer is easy one word fine or okay it is not one one word because nikipuliza how are you doing you will respond by saying i'm fine or i'm okay but this is not the case today in this home it is not the case bwana yesu asifiwe it is not well bila mama lucy alisema it is not well it is not fine or it is not okay it is a very difficult answer lakini tunapenda kuuliza hivyo because we mean well for them ni kujikasa tu atuambie tupo tunaendelea ni kwa kujikasa tu tunapo angalia hii mistari ambayo nimesoma inailinganisha na hali ya don cause hii mistari ambayo nimesoma ni maneno ya mtume Paulo anamwandikia mtoto wake aliyempenda mtoto wake aliyemuguza uh, Timothy it was a special letter to him na Paulo anapoandika hivi his condition was terminal the way it has been with the Lord ukiwa diagonalized ya kwamba you have a crotch at the heart wenda fisisi anisimuko hapa it is not easy sometimes i can regard it to be a terminal condition a terminal condition that was the case with the paul na paulo ametipata katika nafasi ya kuwa gerezani simply because he was convicted as a follower of Jesus of Nazareth na because of that he was put in a cold room uh, in a prison cut off from the world akawekwa hapo na akiwa katika hiyo hali alijua ya kwamba hivi karibuni atasulubiwa aswa ukisoma huo mstari wa sita kwa maana mimi sasa na miminwa na wakati wako fariki kwangu umefika alijua alijua ya kwamba anaenda kuondoka sasa ndiposa akaandika haya mawazo yake kupitia kwa hii barua aitume kwa Timothy mtoto wake aliyempenda akimkabidhi uongozi wa UE akimkabidhi taji na uongozi kwamba mimi nimepambana haijakuwa rahisi haijakuwa rahisi nimepambana nimefika hapa lakini leo ningekuambia haya maneno uso kwa uso ana kwa uso ana kwa ana lakini kwa sababu ya kifungo changu ninakuandikia barua hii na katika barua hii ninakupa ninakuvika taji la uongozi uchukulie pale ambapo mimi nimefika na anapo muandikia hii barua katika hii barua si uongozi tu anamkumbusha mambo muhimu ah jambo muhimu ambalo anamkumbusha ni kwamba asimame katika imani encourage him encourage him in faith to be firm in faith bwana yesu asifiwe haya ni maneno muhimu sana kwa Timothy kutoka kwa babaki wa kiroho na hata ukija katika maisha yetu ya ya ulimwengu huu wakati ambapo watu muhimu watu tajika uh, waume kwa wake dunia inangoja kusikia maneno yao ya mwisho inangoja kusikia hayo maneno yao ya mwisho kwa sababu these are words of insight and wisdom sasa dunia inangoja kuyasikiliza na ninataka niseme ya kwamba 
uh, hayo maneno yao ya mwisho yanapotamkwa inakuwa quotes na itarudiwa duniani kote katika mataifa yote uh, there are words of insight and wisdom tunaposoma home mstari wa sita hadi nane uh, paulo alipokuwa anakucha katika mwisho wa maisha yake ali kwa ukakamavu confidently alisimama na akasema ya kwamba amekuwa mwaminifu kwa mwito wako wa mwito wake he had been faithful to his call faithful to his call mwaminifu kabisa kwamba ninaiandika hii barua ninakuandikia mwanangu wewe Timotheo and I'm confident that I have been faithful to my calling na hapa anapoiandika hii barua anaandika akijua ya kwamba mimi hata ninapoenda kukutana na kifo si kwa sababu ya mapenzi yangu lakini kwa sababu ya Mungu aliyenileta nina kutana na hiki kifo nikiwa na amani nikiwa na utulivu he was calm nikiwa na utulivu you know it is not an easy thing for a person for a person to die alone and i want you to imagine that in a prison paul died alone na he iko tu hivi na huyu don she died she died while alone and she was calm when she was passing on i want to believe so so hapa paulo anasema ya kwamba hata ninapokutana na kifo ninakutana nikiwa na amani nikiwa na utulivu akijua ya kwamba atapata taji atapata hiyo ambayo tunaambiwa reward akijua ya kwamba ataipata Kristo wapendwa na wenzangu ambao mlifika katika mazishi haya nataka tujiulize hii swali is your life preparing you for your death is your life preparing you for death or for your death haya maisha yako yanatakikana ya kutayarishe na unapofikia huo wakati ufike ukiwa mtu muungwana ufike ukiwa mtu wa tumaini kubwa usijie ya kwamba ningeongezewa siku ningetubu ningetengeneza ningeongezewa siku ningetafuta amani na mwenzangu ningeongezewa siku ningeenda nisamehewe na fulani hapana kila siku yenye Mungu anakupa ni matayarisho ni matayarisho bwana Yesu asifiwe ni nini ni matayari matayarisho hata vile tuko hapa tuko tuko hiyo nini matayarisho matayarisho kwa ajili ya kifo chetu kifo chetu nataka niombe ya kwamba uwe mshirika wa haya maneno ya Paulo mtume his expectations of meeting trust kwamba hii alijua ya kwamba siku yake inapofika mwisho haendi tu kaburini haendi tu kwa udongo yeye anaenda kukutana na Kristo ambaye alikuwa mwanzilishi wa imani hii kwa Kristo wenzangu nataka niwasihi na kwamba safari yetu isiishie tu katika udongo maana tusipochunga safari yetu inaishia tu katika udongo if we don't mean uh, what we do today Wana Yesu asifiwe safari yetu inaishia tu wapi hapa katika udongo lakini Paul aliona ya kwamba his death is beyond the grave aliona ya kwamba yeye safari yake ni kukutana na Kristo nataka ni wachochee mchana huu ya kwamba hii safari ambayo tuko hii safari ambayo tu, tunatembea this journey that we are walking ni kukutana na Kristo Wana Yesu asifiwe that should be our destiny that should be our resting point ni kukutana na nani na Kristo na wapendwa si rais si rais Paul was confident akitamuka haya maneno nimevipika vita vilivyo vizuri mwendo nimeumaliza imani nimeiwe nimeiweka he was confident speaking so sasa mwendo huu si rais sasa nataka niwaombe ya kwamba tushiriki haya maona ambayo Paulo alikuwa nayo ya kwamba hata ninapokata pumzi ya maisha ya ulimwengu huu lakini mimi si wa udongo 
Mimi ni wakupita udongo. Mimi ni wa Kristo. Ninaenda kukutana na Kristo. Nataka niseme ya kwamba kunayo habari nzuri ya kwamba e, kuna taji hilo la mbinguni ambalo halijangoja tu wale giants like Paul and others hapana hata wala ambao nimengoja hata wala ambao wana imani kama ya Paulo wana Yesu asifiwe najua tunaweza sema tu ya kwamba hiyo imani ya Yesu siwezi nikaifikia hiyo imani ya Paulo siwezi nikaifikia how are they are not the only giants lakini hata sisi tunao jifunza imani yao tunao jifunza kuenenda kama wao tunaweza fika kule mbinguni bwana yesu asifiwe kuna nafasi kule mbinguni kuna nafasi ya kupata hiyo reward ambayo paulo na wenzake waliweza e, e kuwekewa sasa nataka niseme ya kwamba tunapongoja kurudi kwa mwokozi wetu yesu kristo si paulo tu walioshinda hata sisi ambao tuko hapa ambao tumejivika hiyo imani tuna tuna hilo tumaini kubwa tunapongoja kurudi kwa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo ya kwamba kutokana na imani hii tutamuona Yesu Kristo tutaona ufalme wa mbinguni tutaketi pamoja na Mwenyezi Mungu huo mkono wa kulia tuliaidiwa tutaketi katika huo mkono na kusherekea baada ya taabu na magonjwa ya ulimwengu huu baada ya shida na maangaiko ya ulimwengu huu tutakaa and have uh, 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 and have rest a rest in eternity rest that they can not be removed from us bwana yesu asifiwe sasa paulo hapa anapeana maneno yake ya mwisho akimuhimiza timothy ya kwamba no matter how difficult the fight seems we can keep fighting no matter how difficult the fight seems we can keep fighting bwana yesu asifiwe you know leo hii ukisikiliza ulimwengu ukisikiliza ulimwengu hata uwezo ukasafiri maana utaambiwa ukisafiri utakuvia njiani ukisikiliza ulimwengu leo hii hata uwezo ukakula maana kila chakula kinasababisha magonjwa hauwezi ukakula leo hii hata ukisikiliza ulimwengu hata uwezo ukaenda kanisani maana kanisa imekuwa misiliti ni place nikienda nitapotoshwa nikienda nitaelekezwa in a state of being let it to heaven i will be let it to hell sasa mtu ataamua kukaa awaji hiyo tv angalie vitu vingine bwana yesu asifiwe so nataka kuomba ya kwamba uh, ya kwamba no matter how difficult the fight seems we can keep fighting let us keep fighting bwana yesu asifiwe tusipoteze imani yetu licha ya ulimwengu kuwa hostile kwetu licha ya ulimwengu kuwa ni friendly kwetu licha ya ulimwengu kutoenda vile tunataka let us not uh, stop fighting bwana yesu asifiwe naomba tungangane kwa sababu jinsi vile paulo alingangana yeye alikuwa na tumaini kubwa ya kwamba chenye nimengoja nitaki mimi vita vya ulimwengu nimevishinda mambo ya ulimwengu nimeyashinda kila ambacho nimengoja nitaji bwana yesu asifiwe nataka kuomba ya kwamba uh, e, tunapokuwa na kristo tuta, tuta jua ya kwamba e, yote ilikuwa muhimu tunapoziti kungangana tunapoziti kupikana tunapoziti kushikilia huu mwendo tutakapokutana na kristo tutajua kwamba it was worth it bwana yesu asifiwe sasa wapendwa nataka kuomba ya kwamba tuziti kusimama katika imani maana hii imani si bure. Ninyi mliotoka nyumbani kuja kuomboleza na familia hii, ninyi ambao mmejitolea kwa njia moja ama nyingine kukaa katika kanisa la Kristo, ninyi ambao mmejitolea kufanya kazi ya Kristo, uh, nataka kuomba ya kwamba when we are when we are with Jesus Christ, we will discover that it was not it was all worth it. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwamba it was all worth it. Ili sitaili sisi kuifanya hiyo kazi. Hiyo kazi haikuwa bure. Hiyo huduma yangu haikuwa bure. Hiyo imani niliyokaa nayo haikuwa bure. Kumbe nilikuwa ninapanda. Na sasa uta, utaanza kuona matunda yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka kuomba familia hii ya mzee Agri na mama Lucy. 
ya kwamba it is well bwana yesu asifiwe it is well with christ nataka kuomba mama lucy kwamba it is well with christ mshike huyu yesu kana yeye achukue hiyo nafasi ambayo don alikuwa ana, anayo katika maisha yako achukue hiyo sehemu ambayo don alikuwa nayo katika maisha yako it is well bwana yesu asifiwe it is well with the Christ not with us but with the Christ bwana yesu asifiwe sasa wapendwa mungu atutie moyo mungu atutie nguvu mungu atupe tumaini tunapomtumikia tunapotumika katika kanisa la kristo tunapolinda hii imani tuilinde hadi mwisho haijalishi ni yapi tunakutana naye si magonjwa si majaribu ya shetani si majaribu ya ulimwengu huu si vizuizi gani lakini nataka kuomba ya kwamba we keep on fighting we keep on fighting leo ulikuwa mtu mzuri ulikuwa unafika kanisani asubuhi ulikuwa unamtolea Mungu you are a generous christian lakini kwa sababu tu kimoja mtu akakukwaza ukasema ya kwamba i cannot fight no eh, no more bwana yesu asifiwe i cannot continue fighting no keep on fighting ani endelea kumtumikia huyu kristo katika haka, nyakati ngu, ngumu paulo hako keresani na anaandika hii barua paulo hako keresani na anaandika barua zingine full of encouragement full of wisdom full of uh, 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 love kwa watu mbalimbali mbali. sasa nataka ni waombe ya kwamba a situation ambayo umo leo hii isiwe hindrance situation ambayo umo leo hii iwe sababu siti kumtumikia nani huyu Kristo ukijua ya kwamba taji lako umewekewa bwana yesu asifiwe ambia tu jirani taji lako umewekewa ili ni taji la imani katika jina la Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Mubarikiwe. Wa Kristo tuko na maua kupeana familia immediate family Tuko na maua ya msalaba baba baba agri tunakupea maua ya msalaba yako This is for unity in the family Make sure the family is united As you said it is not well I'm telling you it will be well with God. Take care of the family.
wamama wanaleta kitambaa kitambaa hii iko na msalaba kuonyesha mtoto wetu don alikuwa mkristo kamili Mwasio ushuda alikuwa mwanakwaya alikuwa anaongoza hata nyumba Na hii kitambaa kwa mama wanapea kwa Kristo kamilifu kama wewe kamilifu uwezi kuwekwa hii kitambaa ya kanisa Mtoto wetu Don alikuwa kama <laughs> Tuombe Mungu Baba, Mungu Bwana, Mungu Roho Mtakatifu. Asante kwa wakati huu. We mwenyewe ndio ulipanga wakati kama huu tutakuwa harusi ya mwisho ya msichana wetu Don. Mungu wangu, we ndio ulikubali hii katendeka. Ulikuwa na nguvu ya kukataa lakini ulikubali. Tunasema ni asante. Wazazi wake naweka mkononi wako. Najua ni mazito lakini uendelee kuwapatia nguvu Mungu wangu. Usiwaache kamwe. Naomba hiyo machache kupitia kwa mwanao Yesu Kristo. Kule naomba pale ni mali padogo sana. Sasa ni wachungaji tu na kwaya na familia tafadhali. Wengine mbaki tu hapa hapa ili tukimaliza kule tutakuwa pamoja nanyi. Kwa hivyo pale ni mali padogo naomba kabisa kwa heshima mtatusubiri tu hapa hapa. Ni kwaya tu na wale familia tafadhali. ambapo wote waliomo makaburini wataisikia sauti yake na wa, nao watakufuka wale waliotenda mema wata, watafufuka na kuishi na wale waliotenda maovu watafufuka na kuhukumiwa Nyumbani mwa baba yangu mna makao mengi kama isingekuwa hivyo ningalikwisha waambieni 
sasa nakwenda kuatarishieni nafasi na nikienda na kuatarishieni nafasi nitarudi na kuachukueni kwangu ili nanyi muwe pale nilipo mimi kaburi ya, ya yote ya waumini kuwa matakatifu taomba mwili msichana wetu don kulala ridhini kwa amani na afufuke pamoja nawe kupitia kwa nguvu za roho mtakatifu nasi tuwalibariki na kuliwekea wakfu kaburi hili uh, mahala ambapo don ataishi akingoja hiyo siku ya hukumu katika jina la Mungu Baba Mwana na roho mtakatifu
sauti kutoka mbinguni ikisema andika heri watu ambao tangu sasa wanakufa wakiwa wameungana na Bwana naye roho asema naam watapumzika kutoka taabu zao maana matunda ya jasho lao yatawafuata hivyo basi tukimwamini Mungu atubaye neema bila kiasi na dhahabu ya utakatifu kupitia kwake Yesu Kristo tukabidhi roho ya huyu msichana wetu aliyetuaja don katika mikono yake ya milele ili amchukue nasi tuurudisha mwili wake aridhini udongo kwa udongo majivu kwa majivu mavumbi kwa mavumbi kwa wale wote waliokombolewa na Mungu tumaini letu ni uvuvu wa milele kupitia kwake Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu atakaye geuza mwili wetu usio dumu ili uweze kufufuliwa kama mwili wake mtakatifu kulingana na uwezo wake mkuu aliyoutumia kwa Kristo alipomvua kutoka kwa milele na milele amina ndio maana wako mbele ya kiti cha enzi cha Mungu kumtumikia Mungu mchana na usiku katika hekalu lake naye aketie Thank you. 